All right, Shalom, Makim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Uh, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim, um, out there pushing out this word of truth sincerity. I, you know, it's uh, me and another brother, um, and, you know, we want to just, you know, we're going to roll in the spirit. And basically, we want to do a lesson on how you can't let. Uh, your, you can't let yourself you can't take yourself out of this truth you can't let your your sins uh, uh, weigh you down so to speak you know because the most high he has not called us into this um, this ministry to destroy us but but really he has called us to uh, 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 save us and we have all fallen short you know of the glory of Yahweh Bashem Shai. but the beautiful thing is is that the Lord he's mighty to save okay and he will forgive uh, forgive sins so we can't uh, allow uh, uh satan because really that's satan okay because satan satan will use certain things that you have done you have said are in the past present and future to try to condemn you to try to take you away from the um the love of yah bashman shai but nothing our scriptures even speak about that nothing should separate us from the love of yah shai and lord's will will bring will bring out some of those scriptures but you know we just gonna roll in the spirit you know and um you know, because this is a very uh, heavy topic, basically, you know, led, you know, because we are our own uh, biggest enemies. We are our own biggest critics, you know, which we should be, you know, that self-examination. Self but we can't allow uh, uh, to, for us to be in our feelings. We, we have to uh, revert back to the scriptures. Uh, go ahead, bro. Can you read that too? Verse 2. Is uh, Sarat 14 and 2. Blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him. Yeah, blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him because... Um, we have all sinned. The scriptures talk about that. All right, we have all sinned against Yah Bashem Asha, and that's really who the sin is against. Is against the Lord. Okay, you know. So if you if you allow if you allow yourself to uh, 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 be in your feelings or condemn yourself, then you you're actually going to take yourself out of the truth. The scriptures say, uh, do what offend. All we can do is offend less, because we are going to go off. We just we just have to offend less. Okay. All right, go ahead. And who is not falling from his hope in the Lord? Yeah, because we come into this to be what? Saved. We come into this, all we have is hope. That's all we have. We don't have anything else. We're uh, prisoners of hope, okay, through that faith. We're prisoners of hope, and we, we uh, have hope that Yah Bashem uh is going to save us. So you can't think too much. Uh, uh, you can't really think too much. Uh, and and why the Lord called you into this? You know, you, out of all spirits that He created, why He has only called certain men into the body? You can't put too much into it, you know. And we, you know, the Lord He He has a He has a case on all of us. But what do we do? We uh, push out this word to uh, show the Lord that we uh, that we ask for forgiveness. You know, this is what we do, and we're, we're paid off a debt. Okay, is that it on that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go to uh, Mark, the third chapter, you know, <clears throat> uh, Mark uh, three and twenty eight. And, you know, we just going we just going to go, you know, go right to the points, you know, go ahead. Is a uh, Mark three and twenty eight. Verily, I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven. You see, all sins shall be forgiven. And a lot of Jake's in the world, they don't come to this because they have a dirty conscience because they've done so much wickedness. Uh, in, in the planet Earth, you know, he they did so much wickedness in their life, so they're like, you know what, the Lord, there's no possible way the Lord is dealing with me. You know, there's no possible way that the Lord will forgive me. Well, the scriptures read that again. Is uh, Mark three and twenty eight? Verily I say unto you, all sin shall be forgiven unto the sons of men. Yeah, all sin shall be forgiven unto the sons of men. All sins. Okay, and that's talking about uh the the, the Israelites. Okay, go ahead. And blasphemies, wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. Yeah, even blasphemies, you know. And we we've, we've all done shit in the world, but coming into this truth, what do we do? We just do better. We we uh uh we we show the heavenly Father, all right, that we want to do better. Okay, by what? By doing what He tells us to do. By being a good and faithful servant. Okay, until the end. Okay. Uh, keeping our integrity, no matter what, because ultimately, what you gonna do? You just gonna fall out. You gonna fall out. You gonna let your conscience condemn you. Would you have men that do let their conscience condemn them? And they're the ones who took themselves out of the truth. All right, the most I take you out of the truth. 
All right. He, 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 he has you in it. He has you in it to win it. But you have to believe. All right. You have to believe the scriptures. Okay. And that, that goes into that faith. Go ahead. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. hath never forgiveness. Yeah, have never forgiveness. You know, and that really goes into Esau. Esau is the only one uh, uh, that can't be forgiven, you know. All right, you know, Esau, he took on the scriptures. He, he, he not going to be forgiven. Yeah, the scriptures talk about is there any profane and vain person as Esau, you know, for one more so me, so the birthright, right? But us as Israelites, we have the ability, that's the beautiful thing, we have a spirit, we can tap into the spirit, and we ask you, how about Shema uh, uh, um to forgive us, and what do we do? We show our faith, we show our, uh, our, our, um, what's it called, what's the word I want to use? Our faith, our no, works? No, 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 we show, yeah, it's by works, we show the Lord, uh, our seriousness, okay, our, we, we thank the Lord by, by doing what? By doing our works, by, by serving him, you know? By uh, using our body as a sacrifice. All right, go ahead. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit have never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Mm -hmm. And that's Esau, you know. Um, let's get a few. Let's just get a few more scriptures. I want to get. <sighs> There was a, uh, what a scripture, there's another scripture, oh, you did Romans 8, you did Romans 8 and 1, you know? Is uh, Romans 8 and 1, there is therefore no, now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Yep, yep. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yeah, so if you're, act if you're actually walking after the, um. The spirit, you know, there, there's no condemnation to you. The only person that can condemn you is yourself, you know, and that's letting uh, Satan infiltrate your mind, let Satan mess with you. What she's going to do, that's part of the opposition, but you got to fight those demons, you know. Go ahead. For the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai have made me far from the law of sin and death. Mm -hmm. So so, so we're, we're far from the law of sin and death. Okay, go ahead. Uh, finish. That's done on that. Is there any more? Oh no. Now get uh, Micah seven and eighteen, and then we'll get uh, Sirach the second chapter, and we'll just end it there. You know, you know, you know, just hit a couple more scriptures. But yeah, man, you can't allow um, the things that you have done to uh, weigh you down. Okay. Oh, and we get that Thessalonians. Oh, yeah, no. get that Thessalonians first. Mm -hmm. That Thessalonians five. Yeah, read that. This uh. First Thessalonians 5 and 9. For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath. You see, the Most High has not appointed us to wrath. The Lord didn't call us into this to destroy us, but to do what? But to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai. See, but to obtain salvation. And you have to, you have to, know, you have to remember that. You know, because you can be like, damn, I did this, I did that. Is the Lord going to destroy? Well, look, man, you, you keep going until the Lord destroy you. But ultimately, the Lord... The Lord is not going to destroy you if you continue to do what he, uh, what he tells you to do. And that's push out this word, you know, to be, be a good servant. Really, that's all that we can do. Uh, if you really look at it, what, what else can you do? There's no other thing. There's no other choices. There's no other choices but to serve Yah Basham Okay. Whether, uh, uh, he, whether he takes your spirit or not. Okay. And we all, we all want to have an honorable death. If we do have the death, we, have the, we want to die in the Lord. If if that is our uh, capacity and truth, we don't want to uh, basically um, let our our sins weigh us down and 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 pretty much fall out because we because we like damn because if you start doing that you start meditating upon those things those demons will man manifest themselves and they'll manifest in your walk and you can see a man as and then you can see a man that uh, allowed his conscience to uh, uh, to get the the best of him. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Uh... Is uh First Thessalonians five and nine, for the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. who died for us, that whether we wake, we whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with. Him. Yeah, whether we wake or sleep, meaning whether we uh we are alive or we go to the spiritual world. 
So Lord, the, you gotta understand how shy he died for our sins. Why? Because we're sinners. If he didn't die, if that blood, uh, 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 oh, you know what? What is the scripture where it says? Was that Ephesians, the fifth chapter, where it says um, about Yahweh Shai? Uh, let me see if I can get it. My last one. Was that it on that one? Let me see something real quick. Real quick. Mm, wait. Uh, pretty much. Well, that that's a good one. But I. But there's a there's a better one. About um, we are now clean. Pretty much, we're clean through the blood of Yah Bashima Shai, you know? Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can find it. If not, it's cool. Oh, I think it's uh, John 15 and 3. What does it say? Now ye are clean through the word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the good. Yep, yep. Yeah, but Yahweh Shai, uh, let me bring up this. This is uh, Ephesians 5 and 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. See, that goes, that's going to go right into it. So we're cleansed through the word, okay, by Yahweh Shai dying on the cross because he, he He is the word um, in a body. You know, he uh, he's the word made flesh, you know, and Yahweh Shai, he's going to really, man, hey, look, we're here, we're here to be uh, saved. Okay, we're here. We're prisoners of hope. You know, we can't allow our consciousness to weigh us down. Go ahead, read that. Is uh, Ephesians five and twenty six that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, mm -hmm. that he might present it to himself a glorious church. Yeah, glorious church by cleaning us, cleaning us up. All right, clean us up, man. We we have done things. Uh, we have done things to make ourselves dirty or we can feel dirty. Just being here in Babylon makes us feel dirty, you know? So the Lord, he, he got to clean us up. Go ahead. Not having spot or wrinkle mm -hmm. or any such thing, but it should be holy and without blemish. Yeah, you know what? Because um, you, you, you're you able to keep that, that garment white. It's because um, you continue to do the work. You ne you never stop. So when you, when Yahweh Shai comes back, you want you not your 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 garment is not gonna be spotted, and that's the only reason. That's the only way for you really to um to get pardoned from your sins is to uh, is to uh is to continue to do the work. This is uh Revelation sixteen and fifteen. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. At least he walk naked and they see his shame. So we got to keep our, our garments uh, uh, white. We have to keep them clean. We have to keep that oil. And we have done things in the world to uh, make us uh, try to condemn ourselves. But we have to understand that we're controlled. We're controlled by Yahweh Shai. So ultimately, he made us go off. But he's going to also save us. You know, you got to be you got to be spiritual in, in, in that aspect. You know, uh, where are you at? You done there? Oh yeah, come on down here. Uh, what you had another scripture? Oh yeah, that John. Uh, yeah, yeah, get that one. This Saint John fifteen and three. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. See, now you're clean. We were dirty, now we're clean. You see, by the word. So those sin, that sin, that sin is filthiness. But now uh, that we we have uh, we ask for forgiveness, and then from that forgiveness we we do what we take action. To show that we that we uh, are thankful for that uh, that mercy, you know, we're, we're really just we're just we're just trying to attain that the sure mercies of David. That's why the scriptures always talk about beloved in the New Testament. Why? Because that's the name of David. Okay, beloved, because we want that mercy. Ultimately, the house of David is gonna get mercy because the Lord. He, he look at it, look look how uh, dirty we are, but Yahweh Shai came to what to clean us up. Go ahead. Uh, I'll buy in me and in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself mm -hmm. except it abide in the vine no more can ye except ye abide in me 
Yeah, you have to see. So you gotta abide in Yahweh Shai, man. You gotta continue in Yahweh Shai. That's the only way that you're gonna not, you're not gonna be condemned. The only way, the way that you you can condemn yourself is to let yourself get kicked out of this thing. Well, because the scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen, right? And the Lord said that He has not, you know, He has not appointed us to wrath. Okay, but to what salvation? That's it on that. Get that uh that Micah. Read the Micah and then we'll get the uh, Sirach and then we'll end it off. Lord's will. Is uh, Micah 7 and 18. Who is the most high like unto thee? Yeah. There's, yeah. there's none that's unto. There's none liking unto the most high. Okay. That's why we call him the most high. Go ahead. That pardon iniquity and pass it by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. See, see, part of iniquity. Read that again. Is Micah seven and eighteen? Who is a God like unto thee mm -hmm. that pardon iniquity and pass it by the trans transgression of the remnant of his heritage? Yeah, the remnant. The remnant. What is that? What is that synonymous with? The elect. The elect are going to get pardoned. Okay. Go ahead. He retaineth not his anger forever. Yeah, so the Most High, even though we fucked up, he's not going to retain his, his anger forever. Okay? Tells you that in the book of Baruch. Okay, go ahead. Because he delighteth in mercy. He delighteth in mercy. You see? The Lord, he, he uh, uh, the Lord, the Lord, he, 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 he's, he's, he's really, he's really about a mercy uh, un, unto the children of Israel, to the remnant that return unto him and that acknowledge their faults. Okay, what says mercy uh, rejoiceth over judgment? Well, he he shall have uh, uh, uh he shall have um no mercy. What is that? Uh, have that has showed no mercy? Hold on. James two thirteen. Yeah, it's James two. Yeah, bring that out real quick. Yeah, yeah, James two. Cause what does it say? It said mercy rejoiceth over judgment. Go ahead. Is a uh, James two and thirteen. For he shall have judgment without mercy. Yeah, Esau didn't have any mercy. Okay, go ahead. That have showed no mercy. So if you don't show mercy, that's why in the um in the in our Lord's prayer is what to forgive our transgress. We ask the Lord to forgive our transgressions, but we have to forgive our brother's transgressions. So we don't forgive our brother's transgressions. What makes you think the Lord gonna forgive us? See, go ahead. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. See, so the Most High can't judge you, but mercy. Mercy is higher is higher level. It rejoices over judgment. The most high is um is uh what's it called? He's he's uh he loves mercy. He's gonna show mercy ultimately to uh uh his elect, his remnant. Okay? That's it on that. Go back into that 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 uh, uh that scripture. Yeah, the Micah read it again and then go down to the next verse. Is uh Micah seven and eighteen. Who is a God like unto thee? That a part in iniquity. Mm -hmm. Part in iniquity. Go ahead. And passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. Mm -hmm. He retaineth not his anger forever. Yep. Because he delighted in mercy. Right. That's why. That's the word I was trying to find. He delighteth in mercy. Okay. Go ahead. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. See, he's turning again. He's having compassion upon us. And you have to look at your situation. And it doesn't make sense. Like, damn, how am I alive? I was like did all this shit and the Lord got me in here preaching the word got me doing this damn you can't really think too much into it that's just what it, it is what it is until it ain't you know that's this is the Lord's program he that's really what he's doing he's having compassion on us and we have to remember that that this is this is all mercy go ahead uh, let me see uh, he will turn again he will have compassion upon us he will subdue our iniquities. To subdue our iniquities. All right. He's going to take it away, man. He's going to cast it away. He gonna, he's going to, uh, the scripture's talking about, he's not going to remember them. See, he's not going to remember our iniquities anymore. Go ahead. And thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths. Oh, there, there you go. Keep reading. And thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. See, that the remnant, the Lord is going to um, cast all their, uh, 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 their sins into the depths. Go ahead. Thou wilt perform the truth of Jacob 
and the mercy to Abraham, mm -hmm. which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. So basically, it's because the Lord He made a covenant with uh, with Abraham. Okay, that, that covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, or the scriptures talk about. You know, get that Hosea one. Uh, yeah, I believe that's yeah, yeah. Hosea one and ten. No, it's good. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Slack it. Get um, get Isaiah 14 and one. That's that's it. Isaiah 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 14. I believe so. <coughs> Is Isaiah 14 and one? For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. See, there you go. The Lord is great in judgment, but He's also great in mercy. And we're Jacob. Go ahead. And will yet choose Israel mm -hmm. and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Yeah, the strange, and that's it on that. And the strangers are talking about uh, Israelite foreigners. So ultimately, man, look, the Lord is going to have mercy upon his elect. And all we can do is just pray that the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, continue to what? To deal with us. To take not that Holy Spirit away from us. That's all you can pray. Hey, Lord, don't take the Holy Spirit away from that, that prayer of David. You know, don't bug us out. Where you at? Uh, Sirach 2. Okay, yeah, get get to Sirach 2. Is uh, Sirach 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to Sirach... You know what? Um, no, nah, don't don't start at the top. We're going to start low. We're going to start... Uh, let's go to the point. Oh, is that 10? Um, yeah, start at 10. What is you know what? Oh, hold on, man. That whole chapter is, you yeah, know what? Speaking on mercy too. Yeah, just read that. Read it. Go from the top, bro. Okay. Yeah, go to the top. We'll read down. We'll read that whole chapter. It's a uh, Sirach two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart and constantly set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Yeah, this thing is all about enduring. You know, that's all that's all we can do right now is to what? Have faith in Yahweh Shemashai, have hope that he's gonna deliver us and endure. That's all we that's all we can do. Okay, go ahead. And make not haste in time of trouble. Mm hmm Cleave unto him and depart not away. Because since we uh since we uh, uh uh sinned against him and fell away, what do we do? We seek him ten times more. We cleave unto Yahweh Shemai uh, uh, uh more. We we draw nigher unto him. Go ahead. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And ultimately, being in this truth, you get show that you you, you that you're that you're low. You you know the Lord humble you. We have all been humble. This is a humbling experience, just being here in Babylon, and then the Lord waking you up to this truth, and then just seeing that hey, look, I have no power. I have to do. I have to depend on Yahweh Shai. I sinned against Him. Go ahead. For gold is tried in the fire. Ultimately, the Lord is liking you unto gold, and he's trying you. And we have to remember that. Go ahead. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go through many different adversities. It says, uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Pretty much, you're going to go through all type of hell. And a lot of that is going to be mental mental uh, hell. In which uh, Satan is going to try to, what? Make you condemn yourself. By things that you said, the things that you've done. You know? Well, you're in the you're in the body. You're in you know. You just gotta keep pushing forward. There's nowhere to go but but forward. Okay, we never go backward. Okay, go ahead. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Yeah, he gonna help you. Go ahead. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Yeah, order thy way aright. So get 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 in order. And how do you get in order by doing what the book tells you to do? Go ahead. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. See, so it's about if you fear the Lord. Damn. I'm, I gotta, I gotta wait. I gotta wait for the Lord's mercy. The Lord, is the Lord gonna have mercy on it. Ultimately, we don't know. That's why we say the hopeful elect, which we gotta be the elect because we're doing what the elect is doing. At the same time, we still there's still a level of uh, I don't know. Like I don't know. Like is is the I'm just gonna see if the Lord gonna have mercy on me. That's really what it comes down to. 
because the scripture that says uh, about uh, the hope that that which was seen, you know, is not hope. Right. So basically, you don't see that's that's why we hope. Right, right, right. Exactly. Go ahead. Ye that fear the Lord, believe Him, and your reward shall not fail. There you go. Ye that fear the Lord. So if you fear, ultimately, if you fear the Lord, then the Lord is gonna deal with you. That's just the way. That's what the scriptures say. Go ahead. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. See, we hope for good, everlasting joy and mercy. That's what we hope for. Like, damn Lord, Baba Shaggy, I'm just. Sometimes, man, I'll just be praying about just Lord, just have mercy. I just keep asking the Lord, just have mercy on me. That's all I say, Lord, just have mercy on me. You know, because we all we're all fucked up, man. We've been we're in Babylon, man. It's a fucked up captivity. You know, we we have Satan coming at, co coming at us. You know, trying to make us go off. You know, the world the world is against us, man. So all we can do is just uh, pray, hope, have patience that the Lord is gonna have mercy on us to save us. All right, we're prisoners of hope. Go ahead. Look at the generations of old mm -hmm. and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Keep continue. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Yeah, so if you fear the Most High, Yah Shai, there's, there's no point in time that he's ever going to forsake you. And you can read about all, all our, uh, our our past forefathers that have feared in Yah Shai and what? Have faith in the Lord. Because what? Faith and fear are synonymous with each other. Okay, go ahead. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, so is the Lord going to despise you because you call upon him and you're actually sincerely, you know, uh, you know, sorry for the things that you've done? Okay, go ahead. For the Lord is full of compassion. There you go. The Lord is full of compassion. Continue. And mercy. And mercy. Remember, the Lord is mighty in judgment, but he's also mighty in compassion. compassion. And we have to remember that. Go ahead. Long suffering mm -hmm. and very pitiful. Yeah, we gotta we gotta understand that we're in these bodies, we're flesh. You know? So we're gonna go off. We're gonna say things, we're gonna do things. But we can't allow what our conscience to what? To uh to to condemn us. You know? Go ahead. And forgive its sins. And forgive its sins. So the Lord, he's gonna forgive you of your sins. And that's basically what the Lord's gonna do. He's gonna forgive the sins. Of the elect and how and when why is because the son went and died on the cross. Go ahead. And save it in a time of affliction. Go ahead, keep going. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands mm -hmm. and the sinner that goes two ways. Yeah, because if you because we we were we were all sinners, but if you go two way two way double minded, you're a double minded man. Why? Because you want to serve the Lord and then you you reneged. You know. You re, you reneged. It says, woe to him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. So, if ultimately, if you stop doing his work, it's because you didn't believe. Go ahead. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Mm -hmm. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Yeah, because we have to wait for what? We have to wait for uh, 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 the Lord to what have mercy on us. It says, wait for... It says, uh, verse 7, it says, He that fear the Lord will wait for his mercy. So that man that didn't have patience, ultimately he didn't, he wasn't waiting for the Lord's mercy to be bestowed upon him. Go ahead. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. So now we, we understand what the word is. We're not going to disobey, you know. But, you know, at, you know, the scriptures talk about, oh, get that real quick. Proverbs 24, 16. Cause we're all gonna, you know, we're all gonna uh, do things, you know, contrary to the scriptures. Go ahead. This is a uh, Proverbs twenty four and sixteen, for a just man falleth seven times. Mm -hmm. A just man falleth seven times. We all know that word. Seven means completion. You gonna fall uh, all the time, but go ahead. And rise it up. It said, again. but remember, it said a just man. Okay, go ahead. And rise it up again. So it's all about rising up. It's not about staying down. It's about rising up. It's about getting up. Okay, continue to push. Go ahead. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Yeah, the wicked are gonna fall into mischief. You know, the wicked, the wicked uh, is gonna allow Satan to um, mess with their head. I think that's it on that. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. So go back. There's a uh, so rock uh, two and fifteen. They that fear the Lord will not disobey His word, and they that love Him will keep His ways. Mm-hmm. 
they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. So now you know what's well pleasing unto the Lord. Okay. So now you know that, you do it. That's how you show your forgiveness. Go ahead. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. Go ahead. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. Saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. Yeah, that's all you can do. Just be like, hey, I'm in, the Lord, I'm in your hands. I'm in the Lord's hands. So that's all I can do. Uh, you call me into this, I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah, you, if the, only, the, the, uh, the only way the Lord will bring up your sins is if you stop pushing out this word. If you push out this word, then yeah, then your sins are going to come and fall upon you. But if you keep continue to follow um, Yah Bashma Shai and his commandments, then he's going to forgive you of those sins. Why? It's because you acknowledged them and you, now you're going to do better. Okay? Is that it on that? Uh, a little more. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Oh, boom. That's, uh, that's beautiful. That's it. We can end off. Read that apart again. We can end off on that. For as his majesty. Yeah, his great power. He's a great king. Go ahead. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. There you go. So is his mercy. So the Lord is going to have mercy on us, man. Look how great the Lord is. He got, he got, he got, he got hella power. <laughs> he got like he's high level. He's the highest level, the most high. So he created us. So he know he knows us inside and out. He knows us better than us. Okay. So as him being a great king in uh, his majesty, so is his mercy that's gonna be upon us. So we have to, we have to continually to um, remember that. Okay. And 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 really we 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 just we pray for mercy, man. Mm. Ultimately, the Lord he's gonna um, save his elect men. You know. Hey man, like I like I said, man, it is what it is till it ain't. You know, so you just keep pushing out. You know, you had anything, brother? Oh no, that was that was pretty much it. it. You know, that was it. You know, brothers, don't get, get cond condemned. Don't let your conscience condemn you. Hey, the Lord woke you up for a, a particular reason, and that was for salvation. So until next time, we want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.